Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here again with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being Hi, with Steve. us, Doctor. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right, so everyone, you know if you've uh, been watching the channel for very long that Dr. Nario is in Reno, Nevada at Biointegrative Health Center. You can look them up online if you have any interest in seeing what they do and the treatments they do and so on. So very broad scope. So um, we're going to talk about berberine today. Um, what is it, doctor? Well, Steve, berberine is a naturally occurring compound found in stem roots, barks, and several plants and herbs, such as a moor cork tree and even wang lian uh, trees. So these are just, again, it can be found in many different types of trees and usually found or heard in traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for centuries. And it's been used for treating indigestion, dysentery, and a wide range of infections. In the 80s, the lowering of the blood sugar effect of berberine was discovered. Since then, a robust amount, a lot of research has actually came out in terms of the pharmacological effects of berberine. This includes antimicrobial, anti-inflammation, antioxidative properties. Uh, and so that's why it's not only known for it lowering down blood sugars, but also has some, sometimes affects the, the cholesterol levels in a good way. Okay, so um, it's not a drug, right? Okay, yeah, so you kind of tip, you know, kind of touched on some of, some of the other things I was curious about. You named four or five different right. benefits of this compound but it, it's kind of far reaching and it, it's um, I know um, metformin is a medication that they, they're kind of similar, but metformin is a drug. Um, but is there anything else that um, I mean, all, I guess all those little benefits you just named could really spill over and give you other benefits into other areas, right? Well, Steve, you're right. There are major benefits of what I just mentioned is like the minor ones, but to be more specific, here are the stars of the show in terms of the benefits of berberine. Number one, as I mentioned, lowering down blood sugar. And uh, the reason for that is it improves insulin sensitivity, meaning the, the how insulin works. And it also lower, lowers fat accumulation and increases energy. And the receptors in the liver and the muscles actually leads to like improved glucose usage or uptake. That's why your blood sugar actually goes into somewhere else where it's going to be uh, used by the body properly. Another one, when I mentioned about lowering uh, cholesterols, it actually increases the, the liver or stimulates the liver to clear the bad cholesterol out faster. And for the blood vessels or cardiovascular, it increases nitric oxide. And, and that's why uh, it actually helps with lowering down all these also free radicals and opening up the, the blood vessels to lower down blood pressure. And one of the bigger things also is the gut microbiome. And uh, when, when berberine is involved, it increases the amount of good bacteria because it feeds them with short chain fatty acids, which is always butyric acid, which is the food of the colon cells, and increases the amount of the famous now uh, probiotic strain called acromantia. And this acromantia species is known to regulate inflammation and gut uh, barrier uh, integrity. And again, lessen down, lessens the, the inflammation, especially it was seen on studies after eating a fatty meal. You know, this is something that I, I take often, um, especially when I'm uh, about to eat or I eat some carbs. Now there's another sub, it's, it's the same thing I've, I've heard, dihydroberberine, and that skips a step and it's more absorbable or what can you tell us about the difference between those well, two Steve, what you just mentioned is the newer i guess it's not a newer technology but it's a higher step up from the regular berberine and berberine actually is known to be again very low in bioavailability as we call it meaning as you take it you're not going to absorb much you're probably going to absorb this you thought you talked you, you took this much but you're only going to absorb that and now you have to consider also majority of patients or people have bad guts. So you, you already have this, you have that to, to absorb. And, and the thing here is when you talk about dihydroberberine, this is a form that is more bioavailable. And also it has less likely to cause GI effects. And these GI symptoms are really known in relation to uh, taking just regular dihydroberberine. And the reason for that is 
the hydroberberine is convert, uh, I guess, is converted into direct berberine after going through the intestines when it absorbs. That's why the the dihydro part is the one that probably takes the hip. And then now, as you go through all the barriers, now you get the exact amount of berberine that you you get through. Compared to just regular berberine, it's just very diluted once it gets into your bloodstream. Yeah, it sounds uh, it sounds like the dihydroberberine is better. I mean, I knew that. I just thought I would and let you price. say it. You have to consider the so, price when you see dihydro. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's way more pricier. Okay, so let's talk about dosage mm-hmm. for a minute. Is it four times more? Because how if, if it's mm-hmm. five times more absorbable, mm-hmm. is the dose the same right. or? What, yeah, what would you say about a, that? It's just, uh, as I see that, it kind of just downgrades. Because, for example, when you start with berberine, I use it like 500 milligrams and then twice a day. With the dihydro, you do it once. So meaning it's just half. And again, how much of that is absorbed, we really don't know much in terms of studies. Uh, but uh, initial studies had shown that halving the dose of regular um, berberine uh, I mean, increasing, uh, having the dose of regular berberine is almost equivalent to the dihydro. Okay, so who uh, who would who who should consider using this supplement, berberine, and maybe who do you uh, recommend it to for some of your patients? I mean, what type of situations or well, conditions? See, as I mentioned about a while ago, about the the ones who has problem with uh, with glucose or insulin, like the diabetics, pre-diabetics, high cholesterol, uh, blood vessel, uh, cardiovascular issues. So cardiovascular patients with high blood pressure and also even gut issues. But the one that I'm, I'm really specific about is the, the how safe berberine is. And uh, even uh, adverse effects has not been reported much if it's been used to in relation to even healthier patients. And the most common complaints that I want to bring up really are more GI effects, like diarrhea, constipation, gas. And again, if you have these symptoms already, I probably wouldn't uh, use berberine that much. So, I mean, just caution. I'm not saying don't use it because as I mentioned a while ago, it helps the gut also in terms of getting fixed. And also for patients who are taking a lot of prescription medicines. Because there are studies that have shown that it alters the enzymes of the liver that metabolizes prescription medicines. And a good example would be digoxin, but this was st- studied on rats. But still, I always want to caution mm-hmm. even any type of uh, herbal-based supplement that interactions can occur with your a supplement and your actual medicine. So be careful and don't take too much. That's the basic lesson. Yeah, well, it's... Uh incredible supplement. And as always, Dr. Nario, thank you for your insight on this particular supplement. We appreciate well, you being here. Thank you, Steve, here. for having me again. And as you all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. If you guys like uh, fitness and health tips, especially for people over 50, please subscribe to the channel. And um, we do new uh, interviews with nutritionists, personal trainers, and so on. I'm, I'm a health club owner. I own multiple health clubs, multiple different business models. So please subscribe if, if you like this stuff. And uh, you can hear some of the interviews and so on. Now, today, I'm going to tell you how to buy peptides. Not only how to buy peptides, but where you can buy peptides and... Um, where you know that this is a safe product because these peptides or there's coenzymes. I buy NAD here also. The the company is Invigor is the name of it, Invigor Medical. And if you use the promo code uh, Vitality1, that's Vitality, the number one, you will get $10 off whatever you buy. Now, here's what I like about this. And I've been buying and buy peptides and different compounds from Invigor. I've been doing it for many, many years. I trust them because I get the compound. There's a prescription written for me. They evaluate it. It's very quick and easy. Just a simple little questionnaire, but a doctor will approve this and write the prescription. Then 
um, very important, the medication or the peptide or whatever you want to call it, whatever you're buying, will come from a compounding pharmacy, a legitimate compounding pharmacy. So you know that <clears throat> this is a legit substance. It's not just something you're buying online and you don't really know what's in it because uh, these are licensed physicians and compound pharmacies that can send this uh, to your doorstep, most doorsteps. So check out the link uh, in the description and use the code VITALITY1. You will get $10 off. And more importantly, you can trust this. And again, if you guys like to hear about different vitamins and supplements and so on and what I'm doing, what my protocol is, I'm over 60, please subscribe to the channel. And just love to hear your comments uh, with this, any product that you decide to buy there. Love to hear the, your comments. Put questions in the, um, the comment section and uh, keep me posted because I'm really excited about this. I wouldn't mention this or I wouldn't promote this if I wasn't using these peptides and if I didn't really believe in them, and, and it's something that I'm excited about because it's been a life changer for me.